Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today 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 we're gonna be going over one chronicles chapter 29 versus one I mean versus 15 through 17 so yeah let's get right into it so first off let's turn to one Chronicles twenty chapter twenty nine verses fifteen through seventeen. All right. It says, "We are foreigners and strangers in your sight, as we were all as were all our ancestors. Our days on earth are like a shadow without hope." I think this is an important thing to write down because most of us are in the shadow. And God and Jesus Christ is in the light of hope. We are in the shadow of darkness, hate, sin, and evil, and all that stuff because of the acts, some of the actions we do are why we are in the shadow of darkness of hate and sin and evil we need to get to the light of hope the light of faith the light of the, the light the, the light and also the light of something else anyways let's continue on Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand and all of it belongs to you. I know my God that you test the heart and are pleased with integrity. All these things I have given willingly with honest intent and now I have seen with joy how willingly, willingly you, your people who are here have given to to you and also important because because God tests the heart by putting us through the hardest of hard times he tests our feelings and see if, if we're ready for what's to happen next he tests us through all of that because he loves so much. Don't forget this verse of John three sixteen. God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son. Whoever who's ever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna read read that. I'm gonna read, read that verse in, in from the I'm gonna read the King James version of that those verses. Okay, I'm going to re read it in the King James version of it. It says, here we go. 1 Chronicles chapter 29, 15 through 17. Here we go. It says, For we are strangers before thee and sojourners. We are all fathers. Our days on earth are us a shadow and there is none abiding. O Lord our God, all this door that we have prepared to build thee and house for thine holy name comes of thine head, hand and is all thine own. I know also, my God, that thou thrust the heart and his pleasure and uprightness. For as for me and the uprightness of my heart I have willingly offered all these things 
and now I have seen with joy thy people which are are present here to offer willingly unto thee. The same but there's the same message that God said is we are often in the shadow of darkness, of doubt, hate, sin, evil, and all of that. But, but, God has given us a chance to be in the light of hope, faith, and righteousness, and His unconditional love. If we walk right beside Him, beside Him, because it's one thing that he did. He sent his one and only son. Whosoever believes, believes in him shall not perish. But have everlasting life. Because God loves us so much. Even though we fall short of God's glory. He forgave Jesus Christ. Because he forgave Jesus. And Jesus asked him to forgive us. He, God forgave us even though we deserve the judgment. Anyways. I like to end this with a good old prayer God thank you f for telling us that even if our days on earth is like a shadow there's still a light of hope within you and you only God thank you for telling us that there's always a joy with you through, through, the, through your people like just like how Moses came and told us about the Ten Commandments around Noah. How you told Noah to make Noah's Ark. The flood came as a punishment. Even though you made that punishment, you still loved us because. Because a few, few hundred years later, you send your one and only son. Who, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And God, just like the rest of us, I too am a sinner in need of your help. So, help me God and help us God through all those difficult times. And let people know there's still light at the end of that tunnel. There's still a light of hope at the end of that tunnel. That can walk out the shadow of darkness if they walk to the light of hope within with you. And God, I would like to say this and pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.